Hello everybody, my name is Jazara, and welcome to my comparison video of Smash 4 for Smash Ultimate Sheik. In this video I'm going to be analyzing what changed about her, what's new, and how I think she'll stand in the Smash Ultimate metagame. Let's get right into it. So starting off, I'm going to be mentioning my 4 main points of discussion, plus what upcoming content I have. We're going to be going over changes in damage, changes in playstyle and utility of moves, changes in killing, slash new kill combos, and what I think about Ultimate Sheik. So overall, I definitely feel like our specials got buffed a lot. So first we have Needles, labeled close to far for a full stack. Smash 4 was 11 to 7%, Smash Ultimate's 11.3 to 6%. Overall, I feel like this is about the same. We got that little bit more of damage, but less damage per needle. Next up we have the Bouncing Fish going from 12 to 13.8. This is going to be really good being one of our really good combo finishers. A little bit more damage. Vanish going from 12% to 15.1%. This is definitely hard to hit, but if you do hit it, you do have a little bit more of a damage buff. And grenade with and without the pellet goes from 14 to 15 to a 17 to 19. Although needle charging is a lot slower in Smash Ultimate, we can throw them a lot faster. Throwing them in the air low to the blast zone isn't a death wish anymore. You can actually throw them and double jump up B back to the stage. Instant needle canceling has also been taken out for us, but now we can jump cancel out of a charge animation and go right into any of our specials like we could with a needle cancel in Smash 4. Bouncing Fish seems to come out a little bit slower. I don't have the frame data to prove that, but it does seem to be the case. Things like forward throw bouncing fish are no longer true due to the decreased hit stun on forward throw at the slower startup frames of bouncing fish. Vanish invincibility frames seem to be decreased now and teleport recoveries seem to be much easier to hit than Smash 4, so recovery is a little weaker. Grenade has received a huge buff, the pull in on it is so much stronger now and it seems to kill a lot earlier than it did before. It will actually be a good move to use. Next up, let's get into our normals. So, getting into our normals, we have F tilt going down from 4% to 3.8, down tilt going from 5 to 5.6, up tilt going from 11 to 8.8, .8. rapid jabs just the 1, 2, 3, going from 11 to 9.3, and our dash attack going from 6 to 8.8. .8. The damage decreases outside of the up tilt 1, in my opinion, don't affect Sheik too much. The game's engine itself does really benefit her tilts, being able to instantly do any of them out of a dash makes her approaches and her ability to catch landings a lot better than in Smash 4. I feel like her tilts in this game are extremely strong, her F tilt still gives her lots of combo potential and leads into true kill combos at kill percent. Down tilt also leads into true kill combos, up tilt doesn't lead into as much as it did in Smash 4, but it's still a really good option, especially at 0%. You can get a forward throw into run forward up tilt into whatever. Some of the kill combos I did allude to right there are going to be shown later in this video. So look forward to that. Otherwise, that's about all I have to say about tilts. Not too much change about them. Next up, let's get into aerials.
getting into aerials, we'll start off with fair. The sweet and sour spot have gone from 5% and 4% to 4.8 and 4%. Nair, sweet spot and sour spot has gone from 8 to 5 to 6.4 and 4.2. Bear, sweet and sour spot has gone from 7 and 5 to 8 and 6.4. Down air, Smash Ultimate seems to have two different hurt boxes or versions. Smash 4 did 10% and Smash Ultimate seems to do anywhere between 13.2 to 15.1. Up air went from 7 to 8.8%. Forward air, to me, seems to have a little bit less range than it did in Smash 4. It still sets up for about the same stuff. Leads into grabs, leads into bouncing fishes, gets you stage control. Overall, still a good move. Nair, overall, is a move. If I had one word to describe it, it would be unconfident. In Smash 4, I felt like Nair was just a super strong move, super confident when you did it. In Smash Ultimate, it just feels really, like loose and like doesn't seem like it does much when you hit it you can still use it for ledge trapping and combo enders but overall it just doesn't it's not the same move i kind of want to elaborate on this a bit i still do think that it's a good move but it's like so nerfed from smash 4 and smash 4 and nair was like one of the best moves in the whole game and one of sheik's best moves and now it's just it's just another move Back air is definitely our move that's received the biggest buff. It's a lot more similar to how it was at the beginning of Smash 4, doing more damage and a kill move. This is definitely going to be one of our more consistent options, especially off a ledge trump or just like a roll read, or even as a combo ender. There might be something with that, but back air is a much stronger move now when you hit the sweet spot. With down air, I mean, it's still down air. It's not an amazing move, but now at higher percents, it seems like down air into up air is going to be a kill combo that we can get. I'll have more of that later this video and an announcement relating to that. But down air does have a damage buff now, but still just not a move that you're going to be throwing God in neutral. Up air is definitely the most interesting change that we have on an aerial. It still kills, but the landing lag on it has been reduced significantly. So we have these vertical combos now where you're able to land with up air and combo it right into an F tilt and then up air again. Although DIOA does beat this, it's it's still just interesting now that we have more uh, vertical combo options. And you've probably seen some stuff on Twitter or maybe even YouTube about it. Stuff like uh, up air into forward smash. Those unfortunately aren't going to be true kill combos as far as I know at the moment, but there is definitely potential for mix ups with it. We'll be going more into stuff like that later in this video. Next up, let's get into our throws. Next up, we have the throws. Forward throw going from 7% to 8.8% down throw going from 6% to 7.5%, up throw going from 5% to 7.5%, and back throw going from 7% to 8.8%, and our pummel getting put from 3% to 1.2%. All of the damage off of our throws has gotten buffed, and even the pummel, although it does less damage, we can pummel way faster than we could before. The damage nerf doesn't even matter because we can just pummel so much faster that we get more damage off of it per second anyways. Now the downside to these nerfs is that we really don't get anything off of grabs anymore besides damage. Grabs overall got nerfs in ultimate, so we just don't get anything. Forward throw at zero, they can just air dodge before we bouncing fish them. I mean, we can get like forward throw fair, but that's about it. Back throw and down throw are really just like mix ups now to catch landings and up throw is basically useless. Our grab game definitely got nerfed, not just the grabbing in general, but everything else that leads to the grabbing. Needle charge being slower makes it so that people aren't as scared of needles in neutral, making it harder for us to get grabs because they're not shielding as much. And even if this weren't the case, we just don't get anything off of grab anymore. So, uh, yeah, grabbing, uh, not, not too, not looking too good. Getting off the topic of not looking too good, we're going to be getting to our last section, the smash attacks.
100% our most buffed thing coming from Smash 4 into Ultimate is our Smash attacks. S Smash has gone from 13% to 16.9%. Down Smash has gone from 9% to 13.2%. Up Smash Weak Hit has gone from 11 to 14, and Up Smash Strong Hit has gone from 15 to 18.9. I personally have always been a big hater of Sheik Smash attacks outside of Up Smash. Forward Smash would never kill, and it had the hardest time connecting to people would always fall out of it down smash was okay at killing but it was super hard to hit had no range and sometimes it would just send them behind you even though you hit them in front of you but in this game smash attacks have been made so much better i personally think that this is going to be a huge thing for Sheik. in smash 4 our quote unquote random kill move game was not very strong we didn't get anything off of hard reads. None of our smash attacks were strong enough to like kill people off of like, oh, I'm gonna read your roll and what, get a forward smash and you're gonna fall out of it anyways or not die at 150 in the middle of the stage. But now our smash attacks are much stronger and we're just gonna be able to like blow people up with them more. Next up, I'm gonna be going into changes in play style and our utility of our moves. getting into changes in play style and the utility of her moves first off back air has been buffed as a kill move i mentioned this before but this is going to be huge for us let's trump bear just burying them off stage to edge guard going to be huge for us big kills okay we have a lot better horizontal and vertical combos now it was a joke in smash 4 that Sheik was horizontal fox and fox was horizontal Sheik, but now we got both. We're not as strong in either, but we're pretty we're pretty neutral in both. Up air now doubles as a kill move and a combo move. A large buff on the amount of end lag of the move sets up for combos such as this. Huh? Though DI away seems like it beats this option, it'll still be a very powerful mix up and potential kill combo for us. Grab is a lot weaker now. No combos off of it at any percent, but now that our pummel is extremely fast and grabs are hard to mash out of, grabs are a strong source of getting damage. We've gone from a neutral oppressive combo character to more of a stage control and edge guarding base character due to the overall jump squat and movement in the air and ground buffs across the cast. It's a lot harder for us to stay oppressive the whole match when lots of the characters have much better jump squat so they can really just like anti us more often fair is still extremely strong and most likely one of our best moves in neutral but being in the air all the time isn't as advantageous in this game as it was in smash 4 due to every character being extremely fast on their jump squat i feel like a more ground based chic is going to be seen more in this game speaking of ground based moves we have needles needles seem to have a longer charge time but actually have a quicker first active frame when thrown by 6 frames going from 54 to 48 and are still going to be a strong move. They also throw at a new angle. They've gone from about a 45 degree angle to maybe a 30 degree angle. Either way they definitely get thrown more in front of her now rather than downwards. And even though Sheik does have a 20% faster run speed than Smash 4, lots of other characters are just super fast now on the ground. It's ridiculous. As I mentioned before, her edge guarding is extremely strong, but something else that's still also extremely strong is her ledge trapping. Focusing on keeping them in this spot is going to be very big for us. Refer to the Deco Tree video in the description for an in-depth analysis about ledge trapping in general. Very useful information. One last thing, something that me and other Sheik players have been thinking about is that we believe that needles are going to go more from a uh, neutral move you know to start conditioning them to shield and then you get grabs because grab is so weak we think that needles are going to be more used now to stuff out movement for the most part since lots of characters are faster everybody's just going to be wanting to move around and needles still cover a good amount of space and are really annoying so throwing some needles at their face is going to be really strong that's going to wrap up some of the changes to her and her moves we're going to be going into some of her new kill setups now. 
One of Sheik's biggest struggles still is killing. But me and some other Sheik players have made discoveries on some kill setups that she has that should make stuff a little bit easier. She still has some of her kill setups remaining from Smash 4, including Nair Bouncing Fish, Needles Bouncing Fish, but with the new air dodge mechanic, 50-50s are non-existent now. So we found some other kill setups that she has that I'm going to be showing you right now. So those were some of the kill combos that we were able to find so far. My announcement is that sometime at the beginning of January or maybe the end of December, I am going to be making a video specifically for these combos, going in depth over percents on each character, how to do them, and everything else you need to know about the combo. I hope you all understand the time. Uh, we haven't even finished compiling 10% of the data yet that we need for every character and every combo. So I hope you all understand and give me the time to make this video for everybody so that you'll know. I really love Sheik and the whole point of this channel is for me to show my love of Smash Bros by giving everybody else who loves this game information as well. So just hope you guys uh, appreciate the effort and uh, appreciate the video. Going into my personal opinion on Sheik in this game, I still do think that she's a very fun character, but unfortunately, I don't personally know how good she's going to be. At the moment, I'm thinking either the bottom of high tier or the top of mid tier. She just she just really struggles in this game. She's like Smash 4 Sheik, but every other character in the game is also Smash 4 Sheik, but she still has Sheik problems and nobody else does. Players like Cinny Boo, who is the best Sheik in Smash 4 in the Midwest, think that Sheik is a top 5 character. Other players like me and many other Sheik players aren't personal fans of her this game, even though I'm still going to be giving her a chance as a secondary, but for a main I'm going to be choosing somebody else. So yeah everybody, this has been the video, I hope you all enjoyed the information, enjoyed the video. Join my channel leave a like please subscribe there's gonna be lots more videos coming out like this not just for Sheik many other characters as well everything past this point is just gonna be announcements for my channel so you can click off the video if you don't care but if you would like to know what kind of content is gonna be coming to this channel later on then stay stay around I guess hey everybody just gonna be talking about uh, upcoming stuff for the channel so of course we have this video the second Sheik analysis video smash ultimate compared to smash 4 I plan on making more Sheik related content like I mentioned previous in this video there's gonna be a uh, kill confirm based video that's just all about that I plan on uh, making videos on any uh, big Sheik related tech that comes out in the future if there is any um any uh any smash tech in general that i feel like hasn't been uh or has been discovered but hasn't been like brought to the public yes uh yet i guess this is what i meant to say <laughs> um I i'll definitely make a video on that um i want to make a video like this for a couple of other characters I'm thinking Palutena, who is my current Smash Ultimate main. Um, I'm thinking Samus slash Dark Samus. Um, thinking about Link and uh, Diddy Kong. And just a few other characters as well. Probably Cloud and Bayo, just because they've been uh, very obviously hit with the biggest nerfs. Uh, so there is going to be videos like that since, uh, I mean, people have asked for them. People seem to like the videos, I guess. And I want to post more content on my channel. So, uh, something else that I might do in the future is like some anime related videos, just like, uh, 
talking about like a certain subject in an anime like why this is so good about what I, I watch a lot of videos like that and I, I personally enjoy them and I feel like I that I could see myself making something like that you know what I mean um, otherwise just don't accept don't expect too frequent of uploads just because this video shoot probably took me like 10 hours to make all together uh, from recording to editing to voicing over everything probably ten, maybe more maybe a little bit less uh, and it's probably gonna get hit with fat copyright claims demonetized because the music in it but hey you know what uh, it's not for the money I, I like posting this kind of content because it's cool uh, yeah everybody hope you enjoyed it uh, check out description for all the song names that were listening to this video and yeah I'll see y'all later.